Boot. Come here. <laughs> Hi, everybody. This is the roving concerto camera. There you are. Hi. Hi. That's my girl. Hey, I want to tell you uh, what I'm now seeing as a forecast. Turn as I – let me get the camera. Oh, I hope I didn't make it dizzy. Okay. Not much going on the rest of today. I mean, there have been a few showers around, including down around Salem, Canby, out towards Sandy, some little stuff. Okay. Part of the reason we're getting all the clouds that, that may not get out of here – because we had earlier thunder showers over central Oregon and south of Mount Hood, and the cloud debris from those storms whoosh, blew over us. So not sure if we get sun this afternoon or not. If we don't, we'll probably do, be doing well just to be low to mid-70s for a high temperature. Let me shrink. Okay. I want to talk about tomorrow. Ongoing chance of a shower into tomorrow afternoon. Most of us will not see anything, just more of what we've been seeing. But tomorrow night, low-pressure system that's now along the uh, Oregon-California coastline, the border of the states, starts moving up to the north. That low comes shooting through us. It looks like Thursday evening overnight. Every single forecast chart shows this. Every single forecast chart shows a little cluster of thunderstorms breaking out over the hearts of the Portland metro and probably Salem prior to that, but especially Portland. And then we would get some decent rainfall and some snap, crackle, pop as storms move through. So again, Thursday evening overnight, looking likely that we will at this point see some rain and thunderstorms move through the area. Depending on timing, some of that could still be lingering around early Friday morning. Otherwise, we become dry Friday, and then this ongoing chance of a shower, all of that is over, and the weekend looks fantastic. So keep it uh, updated. If you have plans to be out Thursday evening, Thursday overnight, check the radar, see what's going on. I will talk to you soon.